Hello everyone, my name is Brian Petty and I'm a trainer. And today we are gonna go over how to attach an insurance to patient demographics and some of the required fields that we want to be put in. So first we're gonna select our patient and we will highlight over the patient and go down to patient demographics. And this will open up our patient demographics screen. Now at the very bottom, we have some tabs that run across. We are gonna go highlight the insurance tab, and then we are gonna go ahead and add a new insurance. So we're gonna select the add button. So now our area where we can go ahead and add our new insurance pops up. We have several things we can do here. You have your ellipses, which we can go ahead and select that. We have advanced lookup options. If we know the name or if we just know the phone number, address, zip, all the way down here, we can choose which way we wanna look up there as well. And then we can select the status, all active or inactive. For adding an insurance, probably want active. Um, this is just, you can start texting in. Let's say we want Blue Cross Blue Shield. I'll just start typing BLU and it should pop up. This is the insurance I want to select. And it's automatically gonna populate the address for that insurance and the source of payment. And that is through the insurance setup. Now our next step would be to select if this is gonna be the primary, secondary, tertiary insurance right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this as my primary insurance. If there are some, some fields that we can fill in here, if there are any coverage dates, we can select those coverage dates right there. Your subscriber number can be added right here. And I'll just do add in a fake one right there. Um, the insured name, we can hit the ellipses here and we can choose self or if there's another patient or guarantor, I'll just choose self. Group number can be added, uh, Medicaid ID number, if there is a copay for this, we can add our copay right here. Also, if there is multiple copay, we could select the multiple copay feature right here and add in different amounts for the copay. We have patient relationship to insured, group name, and supplemental insurance indicator. And at the very bottom, we have a patient's alternate name or insured alternate name as well. So let's just do a test group number in there. And then I can just go ahead and select OK. And now we have down here that insurance attached to the patient demographics here. And you have the P, which means this is a primary insurance. If we wanted to add another insurance, we could just go ahead again and click Add. If there was a secondary insurance we wanted to add, we could go ahead and type, type in the name here. Let's just do Aetna and select that and it should populate all the information here. Oops. There we go. And we're gonna choose secondary for this. And again, we can add in the subscriber number, whatever the group number is, if there's any copay associated with it, um, fill out all the other required fields and then click okay. And now you can see that this there is an S there for secondary insurance. Now, if an insurance has been um, terminated or no longer in use, we do not want to delete the insurance. We wanna go highlight it, and then we're gonna update, and then we're gonna come over and mark this insurance as terminated with this, with this box right here. Just mark this insurance as terminated and click okay. And then it's gonna bring an X to that insurance for that patient's um, for that patient's insurance that's no longer in use. And this concludes the session on how to attach an insurance to patient demographics. Thank you.